Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss about what is uh, the omitted variable bias. Okay, so so this is uh, this happens when when you leave out leave, uh, leave out one or more important variable uh, from the uh, model. So this will result in some sort of a bias. So when you leave some important variables, independent variables from the regression, um, then that will result in uh, some sort of a bias. And we call that as uh, omitted uh, variable bias. So let's try to understand it. Let's try to understand the theory uh, behind behind this. Okay. So let's take a, a linear equation form y equal to alpha plus plus beta one x plus beta two z uh, plus the error term. So uh, um, so two conditions has to, uh, condition have to be satisfied. Uh, in order to uh, have this omitted variable bias, okay. The first condition is that uh, you know we omit uh, one or more uh, important variable, which is you know uh, impacting your dependent variable. So let's say Z uh, is the important variable, which which is highly correlated and and also impacting the dependent variable Z, is omitted from the linear regression, okay. Um, so that's first condition, and the second condition is. The independent variable is correlated with another independent variable. So Z is also correlated with X. So under the circumstance, this will create uh, omitted variable bias. So we'll get some sort of a bias in the linear regression uh, because because of uh, this omission of this important variable uh, Z. Okay. So this will result in what is known as overestimation. So the uh, the estimates that you will get uh, will, will not be correct, will be biased estimate, and you cannot uh, explain it properly. Okay. So uh, let's okay. So uh, let's try to understand this uh, uh, particular uh, you know sort of a bias and why it is so. Why omitting Z uh, from this linear regression is going to uh, you know, cause bias. So. Uh, so Z, as I have said, is correlated with X. So let's say Z is you know some sort of uh, related with X like this, alpha one plus uh, beta dash uh, X. So we substitute Z in the place uh, of uh, in the equation of Y, where we just put alpha plus beta one X plus beta two, and then in place of Z, so we are taking this particular uh, linear regression equation. So the in in the place of Z we uh, we just uh, put alpha 1 plus beta dash x plus the error term. And when we expand this, what we get is alpha plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 alpha 1. So we just uh, open the bracket. Uh, and then we rearrange the terms. Uh, so you know, these two terms as uh, without x. So we just uh, put, uh, keep it uh, within bracket. And then we take uh, these two terms, which has got the x. We just take the x. Uh, common from them and then this is the uh, estimate for this uh, x and the error term. Now you can see from the uh, you know the original uh, linear equation you can see the estimates are totally different. The intercept is totally different and the slope coefficient is also totally different. That means what is happening here is overestimation. So because of uh, this particular uh, case where z is related to x and Z is being omitted from this linear regression. What we are getting out of this particular uh, you know, uh, linear regression is that we are getting overestimation. And this is a problem. This is a serious problem. And we cannot explain uh, this uh, slope coefficients and the intercept. Okay. And this particular problem is known as omitted variable bias. The way it should be handled is that, uh, in, uh, so include all types of all the important variables include all the important variables that you think are uh, are uh, you know uh, related to your dependent variables so if you miss out some of these very important variables then you will you will have this uh, or you might have this problem thank you so much